everybody welcome back to the country hobbyist march 2023 take a little bit of a hiatus a little bit of siesta put on a few pounds added some stuff to uh to the property here we'll start off season four talk about the new addition we've got behind me it's my uh, new barn workshop garage whatever you want to call it but we'll take a look at uh what we got built here boy i didn't miss those guys and try to record around them. What we have here is a 48 by 48, 12 foot sidewalls, uh, pull barn. Metal came out of Windy Hill, out of Fountain City, Indiana. Uh, it's actually just right up the road from me, so very convenient. Um, very nice metal, very, very quick delivery. So the longest wait I had on this project on getting going was uh, the trusses after I decided to what we were going to do we had some other other things but after deciding what we we're going to do with the builder it was a three week wait uh, and that was for the trusses the whole package uh windy hill put together very very happy with that and very happy with the with the outcome went with uh the wayne's coating with the green it uh, matches our house and property a little bit we went with a, a roof color a slate to actually match the the roof on our house as well so Hopefully all these things blend in nice together. One question I didn't really have a good answer for, and that was about gutter color. You can see that we put up white gutters. Our house has white gutters. I was really torn on which color gutter to go with, and I figured, well, let's just start with white. If I hate it, eh, we'll change it out. I don't even notice it, so it doesn't bother me today. It might bother some of you, but it doesn't bother me. There's already white trim in places too, with the windows being white and the garage door being white and the entry doors being white. Waiting on concrete here. Hopefully within the next two or three weeks we'll have that going. But uh, in the meantime, we just have some blocks on our doors. I put this eight foot uh, door here in the back. It's a roll up door. It's not got any inside um, trussing or any metal to be uh, in the way, which I felt was nice to have this roll up door to be able to pull things in and out of and uh, and access like lawn mowers and and things of that nature without having to open up the big door but i'll step inside and show you uh what this looks like on the inside so here's that roll-up door you can see that it's insulated i think this this uh door come from a company called roll-up doors rollupdoors.com sorry my trailer is in the way um, the only thing that I haven't quite figured out on it yet is how to lock it from the inside so I've got to come up with a plan on it but it's got nice insulation very easy um, and simple to open it's not overly heavy opens and closes fairly nicely <clears throat> and it's insulated off the west side of the house so hopefully uh, it will help you know keep some some uh, heat in with the wind blowing on that side of the house as you can see we do have the two interior doors one of the things I do have planned on building is a room uh, kind of right in here um, from get there probably from about where that snowblower sits to this post here just a nice like 13 by 16 or something room uh maybe a little bit bigger but not much <clears throat> that's going to be just kind of my personal work area be able to enclose it and do what i want to in there without it being exposed to the rest of the garage my original intent was for this half of this wall to be where our maple stuff goes so maybe we can get that uh installed in there as well here in the next year or so the garage door on this thing is is pretty massive uh, pretty impressive it's a 10 by or a, it's a 20 foot by 10 foot door and the reason why we did that was just for the driveway specifically you can see with how the driveway lays out and it ends right in here that uh, we're going to pull in to the the garage from this way and I wanted to keep it as far north as we could. And having two doors eliminated, having like a spacer in between to keep it from being too far south. I'm excited about all the space that's gonna be in here. I mean, you can see right now, I'm, camera's in the corner 
and uh, very happy with the amount of space I have available. I'm super excited about getting concrete in here and getting uh, my toolbox and stuff in here and starting to customize this and, and getting it the way I, I want it to be. The other thing too with building like a room on and having 12 foot tall ceilings is that I have the ability to build some shelving and storage of above. So I'm really excited about that Christmas stuff, uh, things from like that other shed that we can have out here um, that's easier to get to and uh, really be able to be more organized. And I'm super excited about that. And the last thing I just want to introduce too is that uh, in the link below is another channel that I have recently started. I know, I know. Uh, how can I maintain two channels when I'm not even maintaining properly one channel for a whole year? I'm sorry. That's me being lazy. I get depressed in the winter. I don't, it doesn't like me. The second channel is going to be really geared towards things that I buy uh, from farm stores or, or stuff from the barn or around the house and doing the reviews, like product reviews on those. Uh, things like the post hole uh, digger that I had bought last year and did a review on it. It's going to be really geared towards product centric type of videos and less so on like day in day out farm vlog stuff. So there will be a distinction. I think the channels will complement each other and then this will stay more just me being a talking head and uh, trying to be entertaining as much as I fail sometimes at that. Uh, you know, working on uh, the tractors or, or uh, those types of things. Videos about what I'm doing as far as finishing out this barn, that'll be uh, in on this one. But you know, the tools and stuff that we buy to do that will be reviewed on that other channel. So check out that other channel, click below. Um, only gonna have a couple videos here right now simply because I haven't gotten started on it. That channel name is The Farm Store Guy, um, but it's linked down below, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up there. Okay, well everybody, have a great kickoff to our 2023 with me. I hope you follow along on our stories and, and what I plan on doing this year. A lot of it's gonna be in these four walls, and I uh, hope that you enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm really excited to get concrete down so I can get that D17 over here so I can start working on it. That's really like my first big yay. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Let me know your thoughts. See ya.